the SD didn't go away. Now we go down 0-2. And we'll go we'll go into the Karachi control. Alright, Karachi control. This is the, the start of the comeback. So they hit fully towards the left street off the break. We get one guy on point, and I think Ant is going to challenge mid point, or sorry, mid cut. AG's coming from the coop side. He has his top AC. He doesn't have to worry about top AC. They send three guys here. Last guy live is towards this coop side. Uh, the other one just instantly went towards uh, junk to start blocking the spawn. We know this guy's coop. We just don't know where he is. Cramp actually gets the kill. So we're, we're, we're solo capping. Uh, on point. We're now playing for this guy Junk here. Because they're blocking, you know, the both spawns except the P3 spawn. So he actually spawns inside P3. And Joe tries to tries to take this gunfight. I'm surprised he didn't just stay Junk. Wait for this guy to cross. But he, he takes the gunfight. And still alive. Spawn killing on this side. Ken actually wins a huge one-on-one. -on -one. Um... Yeah, massive one-on-one, -on -one, because Ant dies, but Ken is still capping the point. So now he opens it up, so this guy can get up mid lane, AG. We can double stack if we want to, if not, it's fine. AG takes the timing to go push up short and gets a two-piece for it, so it works out. Ant has already taken a, a route towards B, because he's trusting us to, to win those gunfights A-side. So... This is kind of what I was saying with hard point. It's kind of the same with, with uh, control. You get these kills because B is that second point to cap. You want to make sure you are getting towards this area as quick as possible if you get a three or four down. We know off spawn, AG can just go and cap, toward, cap, cap towards A. But in order to have the timing to completely block the defense from getting to B and kind of stabilizing, you can take this timing. But look how awkward it is for them. And instead of capping because these guys died, he knows that he can get the trades over here. AG goes and, and takes the trades. Now he's working with Ant towards B side. Last guy lie top plat. He gets the kill. Now he can stack with AG. Perfect play. These other guys spawn P3. Now we can just cap this A point if we want to. I think Brandon, Brandon is focused on, on helping them by fire, but they actually spawn deeper. So they're just going to take these routes here. I think, I think, obviously, if he knew that they were spawning deeper like this, he would have turned and helped Ken. Uh, but he's just trying to get to be as fast as possible. I think that was his, his mindset. And pushes off the point to try and get into a credit. He gets one and doesn't get the two, unfortunately. But we did our job. I mean, we got... Oh, we didn't get the second tick on B, but we almost got two ticks. Now we're still back on A, so we're, we're, we're shifting back and forth. We're constantly making them move as a defense to go, you know, first to A, and now we move and shift towards B, so they have to worry about B, and now we move towards A. Boom, boom. Like, whoa. It's, it's very hard for them to constantly keep uh, shifting back and forth, if that makes sense. Now we cap A. So we're, we're chilling, we cap A. Now we can work on the B. And since no one is blocking for them, we spawn close. So this is pretty troll out of them. Because we capped A and they're still like shifting right side. If that makes sense. So like... In our opinion, if you think that the A cap is chalked, which basically it is at this moment... Once we get, we start, or once, yeah, once we start getting on this point, like, Dan spawns close, which I get, but Dan should be the last guy left side. Everyone else should be just flooding left. Eight's going to go D tick. It's just unfortunate they're spawning deep, but I would, I, you still have to get towards left. Because now you're kind of like squad spawning each other towards this right side, and now it's just one guy towards the left here. Now we're just stacking. They have to break from fire and short. We're triple stacking. It's just uh, happening too fast, and they have to they have to get two point and also get crosses to point. And we're just I mean, just full stacking. Really good offense. 
The push is in, you win the round. Now, the nade. Damn, we hit a double nade? Dude, I don't remember the last time we actually hit this nade and got kills. The push is in, you win the it's, it's the nade everyone does off the break. You throw it over the fountain building. Actually, throw it over the fountain building. It lands like over here. We actually get a two-piece off the break with it. The, the trophy is just a little bit too late. Look at that. Trophy a little bit too late. Doesn't pop, so we get a two-piece for it. Now we get all the map control. We just need to basically work with each other top third. And AJ gets a kill for it. We're already... Pushed up, blocking, since Ken is now refilling for Ant, Ant can now push through to their base and start getting mixy. Let me see what happens here. So they, they break through mid cut and, and AC side. Instead of going for this kill top third, um, he actually gets ran at. So instead of Kremp, you know, turning around and ate an ant like looking for this kill, he just runs down mid stairs or sorry, top three stairs and and kills him. Now they're solo capping A. Ken is still blocking though, so as long as we're again filling through the left and making sure that they can't get to B easily, we're chilling with this. If we get kills, we can start moving. That's what we do. We get one kill. We're backing Kremp off this this uh, this heady. Brandy can now pinch through mid. He can't find anything because they just spawn P3 anyway. Ken unfortunately dies, but Ants now pushed up progression short to get a kill, and we're already refilling. AG's already refilling for junk. For this map, you just didn't want to fall into the trap of constantly trying to break A that you fuck yourself over by them getting like a two or three down and they push the B and then they're, they're already capping and, and winning the round. So you're refined with like just chalking up A, honestly. We get three down. We know last guy alive is top fountain. Oh, Dan actually makes a play on Ken here and gets that kill. Oh, we have two guys useless. We're, we're making sure that we're blocking this spot, <laughs> you know. Dan gets a, uh, a, a spawn kill on this guy, on Ken. Now they're breaking through long and through ticket. Number eight tries to play for the guy useless. Maybe, maybe get the kill, and then if they get the kill, we're not blocking anymore. We have to refill it. Number four is staying in this corner. He's kind of in a one-off spot. Number two is playing for anyone that might have fully deep pinched because we spawned out. But as long as we're going 1-4, and because we were still blocking the spawn over there, these guys are spawning out, and we can stabilize. You see, wait, wait, you see this now? You see how they, they wrap to get the spawn, and now they're not spawning Koop anymore? Like, obviously, they're still not spawning Junk, but they start spawning P3. So they're, they're starting to spawn closer because of the squad spawn. So they're not spawning Koopa anymore. They're just going to continue to spawn P3. Because we still have like influence uh, through red, I guess. Now they're block we're blocking once again. And, you know, since we're blocking, we're not technically blocking the P3 spawn. We're, we're, we're just blocking the junk spawn so they can still spawn P3 because they they were just squad spawning out before. So it's going to keep spawning them P3. It's not going to spawn them Koop. And we're just, I mean, Brandon is just shitting on them. It's just so important to make sure they're not spawning close. As long as you can make sure they're not spawning close, you're chilling. Now, look at that. They finally capture and can squad spawn their guy on junk. And that's when they're going to start getting the spawns. And they're going to keep getting those spawns until we block it. You see the progression? Like you spawn coop. Okay, now you wrap, you wrap. Uh, you might spawn here if like we're, we don't have pressure, but you're at least going to spawn like here, most likely, because we're not going to have pressure here. You capture this spawn. Boom. Now you start working your way here. We don't have any pressure over here, and you have you know squad spawn teammates you can spawn spawn on. Now you get the close spawn.
you had to work your way to the spawn to capture it. It's not if, you know, the other team was blocking it or not all the time. See, now this gets scary. They get two kills red. Now there's, they're also spawning close. We're spawning deep. This is now a chance for them to win this round. They get another kill on the cross. This should be a round win for them. Should be. Dan gets a kill ticket. He, he's just he's just staying alive. Sorry, not ticket. Top fire. He's just staying alive. Top fire. We have to kill him in order to get to the point, basically. Because he can just go top fire, look out his window, and just shoot us in the back. One life advantage now for Thieves. They are on to the point. And you've got to deal with... I like this play by Ann. Take the deeper route. To isolate him. It looks like Dan can't watch this. He can call it out. But we're already breaking on in. So, he like, you can't have Dan watch everything. Brandon gets a huge kill. Brandon chows from short and gets a kill on the guy on the desk heady. Massive kill. So this requires Dan to start uh, actually activating. And he activates, but he's, he's able to... I think he sees Ant here, but he can't get the kill, obviously. So now the two guys on point are tweaking because they have to watch everything. They still have to watch their back alley in case we are you know, late hopping this. They have to watch their long, uh, short. And now they know that one guy is pinching ticket. So really good play out of Ant, I think. And they were so close to capping, capping that. We break for free. AG gets the kill on Dan as he's top fire because Dan has to, you know, go and help towards the point because he knows that they're getting converged on. So really good, really good regain there. Really good routes. Like really good routes. And really good uh, job by Brandon getting the kill off the heady. I don't know how he beamed him off the heady. Now again, you're just watching the crosses. You're chilling. We had the live lead as well. Dashy rips nasty, you know? Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. That's that's why we break here. I don't if he doesn't rip nasty, we don't break here. Boom. Rips him. Now Dan has to activate. And they're just they're just screwed. They have to watch too much. Alright, let's go to round three. See, the trophy comes in, their nades don't hit. So their their trophy was just a little bit um a little bit late in that other round. That's why we got the kills. I love this play at Ant. He would love to do this. Just chow the mid cut off the break. You 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 tack it, back this guy down. Dan, Dan actually cruises right at the start of the round. Gets Ken for it, but again, we like we have Ant already spawn killing. Still being a nuisance. AG's still a live top fired as well. And look at this. Ant goes, pinches their spawn. Gonna play for anyone B side and again, create chaos. You create chaos on the B side, you open things up A side. Get kill on Dan. Now look at their arrows, bro. All of them are going to have to fo focus towards Ant here. This opens up the A side completely. AG also wins the gun top, uh, gunfight top fire. Now A is free. But we spawn, we spawn your junk. Now this is, this is a tough scenario because you're like, you're not spawning P3 and you can just go, you know, instantly go to A. You spawn junk and you might think like, oh shit, we spawn close to B, we should hit out B. But technically... What you can do is you can just wrap and go back to A. So let's see what they do off this spawn. Brandon's going to go. He actually gets a kill, but we're still spawning close. And he actually gets a two-piece. What the fuck? This is just insane two-piece at Brandon. Wow. That's massive. Ken is now... He, he jumps up to the top plat. Again, and once again, we've all, we're, we're, we get the close spawns. We're... Taking space, front bus, front ticket, they're confined to this area. And they know if, if we cap B, it's chalked. Basically. Ken gets a kill on the guy in the back. He can just maintain all of this. So all the other three need to watch is just this back out here. 
We're on point two. Look at this activation from AG. They're so focused on these this guy on point and this guy back L. AG gets an opening. And can kill these guys in the back. Gets one, gets two, gets three. Huge three piece. But it's because of the distraction. Because they're so focused on Ant and, and uh, Brandon over here, it just opens up the timing because they're going to climb up this wall and they're just going to go back out and, and or go on point and flood this way. They're like not always just going to hard chow this because you can die from you know, top fire, you can die from top single, you can die from anyone low lights looking at this. So they're, they're, all, they're all focused on this guy on point and, and Brandon, who's back L. AG is just there for a prime three piece. Huge. Now we can go stack B. And we're still spawning close. So we're going to get this point. And now we're, and we're just farming as well too. Six live lead with also the B cap is just insane. And still getting kills. He's just trick shotting. So we cap B. We're already up eight lives. Ant knows they're spawning back left. He's just he's just having their, his way with them. Because we're alive off of old B side, we can take routes through their long, or sorry, through their back alley, through their long, through fountain, through short. And now they kind of have to play in this weird scenario where they're, once again, they're ha they have to play so tight because of all the map control that we have. Because we're just getting all the kills. It's just, it's just too much for them. We go up nine lives. They're still spawning in the back. We're still spawn killing them. And then we just get on point. I mean, we're up 12 lives. This is just... It's just a matter of time now. AG uses a streak. Uh, really good. Once again, a really good offense. Again, just a matter of time. So there's no point going through all this VOD. Really good job on the crotchy control. Once again, it was kind of surprising that we played the crotchy over them. But uh, like apparently Dan was saying in the chat here that uh, they're working hard on to improve their crotchy control. And we're really confident on it. So that was a really good bounce back map. Obviously, you know, if we lose there, it's completely different with our champs run.